In this tutorial, we're going to look into working with the preset manager. Now, I mentioned this earlier, and here we are. To get to the preset manager, you will have to do the following click on File, Edit, and here you are, Preset Manager. Now, within the preset manager, you have things like brushes. So, the preset type for this particular one is actually brushes. This tells you the different points that you can use whenever you choose the brush tool and um, there's a tutorial in which I spoke um, largely about all of these tools and how to use them so if you were to choose the brush tool for example these are the points that you can have these are the available points so if you were to click 19 you would end up with a ballpoint like this if it was 45 you end up with something with a bit of a blur at the end and if you were to click on 17 well you end up with the chalk and so on and so forth now one thing we can do about this preset manager is we can augment the amount of uh, options that we have here and the way to do that is by going up here to this arrow clicking on the arrow and here you you have an assortment of all kinds of brushes that are available now the basic brushes are what we have here so if you were to click um, calligraph calligraphic brushes here it says replace current brushes with the brushes from calligraphic brushes and then don't say okay to that just append it because you do want to still use what you have up here so just append it and in so doing now we have more brushes to work with I'm gonna click again go down and choose another one and here we go I can click and come down and choose another one like the um, drop shadow brushes and you always want to append you don't want to say okay because if you say okay it's going to get rid of what you already have up there and replace it with this new um, this new collection so you want to append by appending well there you have it alright and so on and so forth so you, you get the point you can go down and add in as many as you want so whenever you use the, uh, the paintbrush you will now have all of these tips to work with now if you go back to the preset type you can also click on the downward arrow key and go to swatches in swatches you can apply the exact same thing in swatches come down here you can choose any one of these pantones any one of these color variations you know web spectrum same thing appended and here you have all these you know colors that come up change this and go to gradient you can also apply that to gradient as well click go down to let's say the metal coloring for example you can click a pen and here they are move about put the noise samples append and so on and so forth we can also go down to styles we can add in more styles than what we already have here and just for demo purposes we're gonna do one I'm gonna click the glass buttons and append so there you have them right there patterns the same thing applies to patterns let's just do one for patterns natural patterns append go over here contours which has a relatively short list so you may not even need to do it in the contours custom shapes here you are if you click over here and go to all then all of the custom custom shapes that are available in the database will be available to you right here but if you go down to say um, frames and append well this is what you end up with the frames right and here you have the tools all right we have the art history brushes crops and text and pretty much behaves uh, you know the, the same way so in a nutshell that's what the preset manager is all about and once you click OK or actually done the next time you use any one of these tools or any one of these options the new addition that you've added to it will then be available to you